Hi and welcome back to the channel. In today's video is a bit of a behind the scenes, some of the things that we've been getting up to. Before we get into that, huge thank you to all the new subscribers that's jumped on board in the last sort of month. Over the 400 mark now, we're, we are, Mel and I and Jamie, we're all truly humbled in that by all your support you're showing us and hopefully you're, you're seeing some things that you like, some different things that, that you know you haven't seen before. Brilliant, thank you very much for jumping on board. Um, and also another huge thank you to Dave and Bessie over at the Pole Pally uh, channel. Mel and I joined them on Easter Sunday last Sunday for a game and that was an epic game, really good fun, an Agatha Christie style whodunit. Um, it was um, uh, Mystery at the Gallop, that's what it was called. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below for the, for the game. Fun game, really good laugh. I'm not gonna give anything away here. You've got to go and watch it for, for if you've got something to do, you're doing some painting, check the video on, have a listen to it. it. Absolutely, it was a blast, really was good fun. But uh, huge thanks to Dave and Bessie and that and everyone else who jumped on board our channel afterwards to subscribe to us to see what we're up to. So huge thank you again. So what have we been up to? Well, it's been, been I'm between shift patterns at the moment. I'm sort of going to be going into a run of nights and then into a long run of days. And this is my only day I've got free in the next sort of two, two and a half weeks where I can sort of like sit down and just do a quick video update for you guys. What have we been up to? Well, Mel's been busily, busily rebasing her, uh, or, or at least a brigade of her, um, Americans 28 mil American Civil War, where we are all keen fans of uh, Pickett's Charge. Love playing that game, it's a brilliant game. And she had some stuff based up before, and we thought we'd decide to sort of rebase it and everything else. But nothing me rambling. I'll tell you what, I'll turn the camera around and we'll take a look. So first up then is the Confederate Brigade we're going to show you. These figures Mel and I done many years ago. Uh, we used to play an old set of rules. And I'm just trying to think what they were called now. So it's escaped me. Um, but they were sort of based on sort of singles, doubles, and three figures to a base, and all sorts of different basing, and that was done on them. And it was a real pain to sort of move them back, especially when you're playing very large games. Um, so now we've got back into sort of the American Civil War period. Um, Pickett's Charge is my, my, my chosen set of rules for, for that. I really do love how that game mechanics and that plays out. These are perfect for that. And also you could use them for black powder if, if, if people want you know, if we wanted to play that. Um, 24 figures in a regiment there, which is sort of standard units for both Pickett's Charge and black powder. I could put say an extra couple of bases in there and that would become a large unit for both sets of rules. And I could probably take two bases away and it becomes a small regiment for both sets of rules. But in mechanics wise of each set of rules is totally different um so yeah flags on the three of the four you'll see were sort of homemade um and i'm gonna get rid of them they're gonna come off when we come to sort of finishing the bases and that off these flags will come off and i'll probably get some gmb flags to go on there so i really do like those so i'll just scan up the uh, figures as we're doing excuse the camera shake a bit there we are. oh in the middle here see the two leaders there you might recognize the guy here. He was the Salute 2011 figure, I think, if I remember rightly. And I say, Jamie's got one, I've got one for my union, he's got one for his union army, and obviously Mel's for the Confederates, so there's three of them on the table. <laughs> um, and there's yeah, the other two regiments there. And you'll probably see on the, just to the right of there are some odd spare figures, which we shall repurpose for commands and things like that. Um, Figure-wise, they are, are a mix, mostly Redai. Um There are some First Corps and there are some Old oh, Glory. That's it, Old oh, Glory figures. So, and I think they do mix quite well on that on the bases and that. And hopefully, once we get the bases all finished up and that, it um, it will it'll all look really, really good. Mel's already got a couple of regiments already painted up with Perry's plastics. Um, so again, we'll. Once all this is done, we'll get them all out and do it all properly and that and I'll show you properly. But um, this is just sort of some of the things that we were working on as well as doing the pulp, pulp stuff and that which you've seen so far. So that's it for that. That's the Confederate Brigade and I'll just move on to the next one. So next up then we have Rabuto Gilliman. This is the 40K model version of him. Um, Jamie does have the Forge World's Horus Heresy resin cast model of him and that, and that is a fantastic model. Likewise with this one. Um, you know, this one's all plastic. I can't remember when it came out now. Two, three years ago? Oh, it might even be more than that now. But however long, I remember Jamie was really excited again. He got it, he made it all up, he put it on the shelf, and for some 
strange reason, that's where it stayed and we forgot all about it, to be honest with you. I know saying stuff is on a shelf, but yeah, you do, you do forget things. And, um, and he looked up and said to me, I said, hey, any chance of painting that up this March, he said, for the Games Workshop's March of McCrag? And anyone who knows anything about uh, 40K or anything like that and how synonymous the McCrag planet is for the Ultramarines will know that, uh, that the reference to that uh, that statement. But yeah, it is, it's a really, really lovely model. When I say excuse hands, I'll sort of spin them up for you so you can sort of see them, see them what it is. It's done a lovely job to the sword and the armour and that, the gold work on him. He is a really, really nice uh, bit of kit. Uh, I mean, the moulding on him anyway is really nice. I think, you know, and we're not tournament players by any stretch and, you know, so we just buy models because we like models, like, you know, and, uh, you know, Jamie's now, now we see it got him painted up and that he, he's itching to use him in a game and we plan on doing a big sort of 40k game later this year around his birthday time. Um, it'd be the Black Legion, we're going to paint the Black Legion up, you'll see more of that as, as videos come. Um, and then we're going to, well, my Dark Angels is currently being commissioned at the moment, along with Mel Space Wolves. So, and then with Jamie's Ultramarines, it's going to be a mass clash of, of Marines and that. So, um, really looking forward to that. As I said, I haven't played a big 40k game, probably a couple of years now, two or three years now. Uh, so definitely interested in getting that sorted out. So there we have, that is Roboto Gilliman for 40k. So here we have then, this is a planner uh, from what we were doing this year. And we do this probably for, the, we've been doing this now for the last five, maybe six years, having a little planner and that. And not all the time it goes to, to plan, like, you know, but most of the time we do try and stick to it. And this year we have, to to, to, to step, we have stuck to what we are doing. Most of the, like say, the bit screen, the wire you've seen already, the Hoff you've not seen in February, for the simple reason we put a pause to that because we were having to then go and build up the Dark Angel and the, and the um, Space Wars for the commission that's been commissioned painted. So that had to be paused for that, but there has been a start of that. March, you've seen Gilliman now, which is what we've done. Um, Chicago Way figures, which we've repurposed for our Pulp Alley Prohibition campaign. A lot more of that to come. We are still working on that in the background, some more terrain. So there's the Gambassi gang. There's a lot more, there's vehicles, there's lots of stuff to come for that. Victory Sea boats we were doing, and we made a start, although we didn't finish it in March, hence why there's a Red Cross, we made a start on rebasing the uh, ACW. And as you know, as you can see going through each month, things that we're getting up to, um, and vid these are the videos that you will see, of, obviously in time with us building it all up and getting it, you know, painted up and everything else. And on the right hand side there is the games that we've got planned so far, and obviously we, we, we play games whenever we can, but these are sort of like, um, sort of bullet points we want to head towards, or sort of major points we want to head towards in the year. So in the summer we'll be fancy playing a big Hoth game, uh, Star Wars Legion Hoth game. Jamie's birthday is a big 40k game. Hence the Black Legion on there, the Ultramarines are on there, Dark Angels, State Space Wars, it's all aiming for that game. Um, Christmas, there's five things there, we haven't made our definitive decision yet of what, what game we're going to do. December, I always keep December free, whatever we do, because that's normally a, a month where we're finishing off whatever our Christmas game is, and I take most of December off. And that's where I can then just go in and, and say, just finish off the odd bits of terrain or odd bits of pieces we're, we're painting up. And I, I play test the scenario that we're going to be playing to the hill to make sure there's no pitfalls in the scenario, make sure I can make it as fun as I possibly can because it's the Christmas game and it has to be fun, you know, and it has to be sort of like, you know, it's full of surprises, this, that, and the other, and just try and sort of make it entertaining as much as, as I possibly can. So December is always kept free. Um, couple of question marks on Flames of War and French Indian Wars there on that month because it might be a spillover of something else or we might start the Christmas project from that point onwards. So there we have it and guys that's that is a little bit behind the scenes of what we've been getting up to and what we're going to be getting up to and I just thought as before I go on this little awkward run of shifts and that, that I do every few weeks um, I just thought that I would get this out to you. We will be putting some more Prohibition videos up soon. Um, once I get another break, I'll put them together and I'll get them out to you. So there we have it, guys. And until next time, please stay safe. Hope your projects are doing good and happy Wargaming.